What a difference between the northern border and the southern border. And what we're trying to accomplish is we want the American people to understand what's going on here. We just want the American people to understand what's going on here. Well, we're down along the river, Rio Grande, and there are groups coming across the border. We just saw under the bridge where they actually detain them, uh, but we've seen groups come up the road here. They've crossed the river and they're coming into the country. And it looks like there's another group up ahead. Yes, sir. This facility with COVID protocols is set up for 250. Without COVID protocol, it's 1,000. Right now, 4,200 people in this facility. So we're here at one of the major ports of entry. Uh, about 120,000 trucks a month go through here, 1.4 million trucks a year. And then you also have, of course, cars and so forth, pedestrians, people going back and forth. So they're trying to incorporate a lot of technology into the process as well. And that's when we talk about border security, it's really an important part of it, right? It's having that physical barrier, then you need the technology like I'm talking about, and then you need the people. In the short term, we need to have in place those third safe country policies and the remain in Mexico policy to stop this demand, this, uh, the number of people that are coming up right now so that we can get on top of this and, and make sure that we secure our border uh, and that we have legal immigration in the right way uh, rather than what we face right now. We can do it. And so the Biden administration really needs to work with us now. I think that as the American people see what's going on, they're going to demand uh, that these changes be made. This is where people come across all the time. On the border, to secure the border properly, we need the right resources. We need the right mix of people and, uh, and technology and, of course, a border wall. We can get on top of this right now. That's what needs to happen, and that needs to happen right now. And then, as Senator Grassley said, and others have said, then let's figure out how we do address immigration in an intelligent and a humane way. But it starts with the American people understanding what's going on right now and us changing it.